All right, you guys have been asking for it. Uh, day in the life of what I eat. We did day in the life of training. Now we're doing day in the life of what I eat and drink. So basically tracking all calories consumed, all calories burned. I'm quite interested to see how many calories I, I consume. Everyone, I feel like, always asks that, right? Everyone's pretty curious. So I have no idea. It could be 2,000, could be 10,000. So it'll be interesting to see how many calories we can take down. Pretty standard day of training, nothing nothing too different. So it should be a pretty normal day. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see what everyone says in the comments, whether they like the diet, think it's absolutely atrocious. Also sort of kind of on a budget. So I don't know, we'll see. I uh, hope you guys like it though. Cool. And then just show what you're eating right now. Yeah, uh, breakfast post swim. Obviously had breakfast number one before we went to the swim, which was the stack of uh, the greens, vitamin C, oatmeal, and then we had a bottle of sports drink, Infinite, on the swim, and now we're knocking back OJ, uh, three biscuits, some uh, lean ground beef, four eggs, we're good. So this is what, lunch now? Lunch, yeah, very late lunch, 3.38. That's all good. Yeah. But what are you, what are you eating there? Um, yeah, 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 so uh, right now we have white rice. I think we had like three quarters cup white rice, uh, one full avocado, two slices of like cold cut uh, chicken, two eggs, all mixed up. A pretty big, uh, pretty good, like rice bowl. Um, just got some protein, got some carbs, got an avocado, uh, 12 ounces of Gatorade. Uh, had a glass of chocolate milk right when we got home from the swim. And yeah, it's pretty just standard lunch, just quite easy with the eggs and the rice. Um, I still have to do a quality run workout uh, here in about an hour or two. So just making sure I stay topped up. I mean, I swam quite a bit this morning, so, you know, uh, yeah, just try, trying to stay on the carbs and uh, somewhat of protein to get recovered. Yeah, and a lot of people in the comments have been making some, some comments about the Coke or the Cheerios at the US Open. So what's kind of your philosophy with food and your decisions that you make? Yeah, I just, uh, I just kind of eat whatever whatever I want, really. Um, like Soph and I had had In and Out last night, so I had like two like two double doubles, like two fries, and just like totally crushed that. Um, I don't know, just kind of eat uh, eat to hunger, right? Like I I'd rather overeat than undereat because when I undereat, not that I really ever do, but undereat, underfuel. I mean, it's uh, you know quite a terrible feeling, as you know many people might know, like bonking and and whatnot so and, and obviously that, that leads to injury right like if you're not eating or fueling you know at least stress fractures you know depression lack of motivation all that kind of stuff right so um but yeah just the coke i mean i think uh also too like coke's considered like what like jet fuel right like you know you get that in the bloodstream you you feel pretty good so that's also like something we race with right like gatorade endurance Mort and Coke, like those three things specifically, or Red Bull, those four things specifically are not like sponsors of mine, but I do like use them every once in a while just because um, they are what we have on course, right? Like when you're when you're doing a uh, North American Ironman branded race, you have Morton, Coke, Gator Endurance, Red Bull. So if you don't, if you don't practice that, um, well then you're kind of crap out of luck on race day if you're not used to that so just getting used to what's uh getting used to what is uh on course because you only can carry so much infinite or whatever um so i think that's uh kind of a philosophy 
And then do you have any comments about the donut this morning or just eat what you want to a degree? No, just eat what I want. I uh, were walking to Fry's after that swim. It's all an 80 cent apple cinnamon sugar donut. Crushed two of those and felt great for myself. Um, I just think, you know, I think it's good. Um, yeah, I don't really see too much of an issue. Uh, people might disagree with that, but you know, whatever. I feel, I feel fine. So, and also, you gotta enjoy my life too. Right? Yeah. And I think that's that's big frame to accept it. And it's a uh, you have to make something special. You gotta make something. Special. Was that one faster or? Uh, yeah, that was three and a half seconds. Uh, that was our fastest one by three and a half seconds. So, not bad. It's just uh, a decently challenging course. Um, I'll have to look how many feet elevation gain is on that loop. I'm gonna start here. Perfect 0.6 mile loop, 0.6 mile loop. And then the point two, the, like the extra point five, zero zero point five, is this still straight away right here? Um, and it's up and then down and then up to finish. So it's like a half pipe. So it's like up to start, down all the way on the back stretch, and then back up. So it keeps you honest for sure. It's you'd rather the downhill, I think, in the uh, in the beginning though, because uh, starting to starting the interval with the uphill, not the funnest feeling. So what were you uh, drinking throughout that workout and gels and stuff? <coughs> oh man, good lord. Um, let's see, so right before, right before the session, took one, one scoop of my non-caffeinated infinite custom blend, which is, what I talked about at the pool, but um, only one scoop this time just because I just downed that in like a 12 ounce infinite bottle real quick before I left. So that had 40 carbs, 250 mils of sodium, 100, 200 calories. Um, just as like a quick pick me up, make sure I'm all topped up, ready to go. Had that right before I left. Uh, two mile warm up in 13 minutes. Uh, dynamic stretching and then hit a more in 100 gel so like 25 26 carbs 100 calories and then just sip water for the entirety of the workout and then hit a never second gel after the fourth of five reps probably should have hit that probably after number three not that i needed it um but i think fueling it's so important, you know. I hear a lot of a lot of people say it's, you know, you can get through one session un, like under fueled or not ad adequately fueling, but the fueling you're doing and the session you're doing is about the session you just did, and more importantly about the session you're going to do later, right? So I have a big bike workout tomorrow morning. Just making sure I'm staying topped up, energy levels are good, feel great, and like I said before, I'd rather I'd rather have too much than too little. Alright, and then I'm going to do a uh, fourth cup of uh, bare naked granola, fruit and nut, that'll be 130 cal. I am super interested 
to see what uh, what we end up finding out about uh, how many calories I consumed, how many calories I burned, and see if we're uh, plus or minus on uh, on anything. What's your guess for the total intake for the day? Guess for the total intake of the day. This is, we're, we're counting gels, sports drink, recovery, everything, the whole nine yards. Um, yeah, my guess is third, we're guessing 3,800, 3,800 calories consumed. I have no idea I'm just pulling that number out. What's your guess, Soph? I don't know if I'm supposed to know how many you burned already or not. Do you know? You just said it. Earlier. What is, yeah, how many, how many did I consume though? What's your guess? I think you, like after this dinner, will at least consume what you burned. I don't think you're going to be in a deficit. So you think I'm breaking even? No, I think you're going to have eaten a little bit more. Yeah, so, so I'll break even. Yeah. yeah. After, after you finish your meals yes, for the night. that's what we're saying. Yes. So I'm 5,000 plus. Yes. I think I'm, I, I think I'm shy at 4,000. We'll see. Taking 80 cows of Gatorade here in a second. The night's not over. I mean, you want, you want ice cream, so that might put it over, actually. <laughs> so if we get ice cream, yeah, we might be north of 5,000. My guess is 4,000 before the ice cream, 5,000 if we go to ice cream. Nah. A thousand Six, calories Six, of ice thousand. cream is insane. Well, because it's, 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 uh, it's build your own Froyo, and man, if I'm, I'm taking time out of my night to go drive and get froyo. I'm putting a dip, I'm getting like a pound of fro. Well, half pound froyo, half pound toppings. I'm a big toppings guy. So massive heart attack bowl right there with smothered and warm peanut butter and marshmallows on top. I mean, last night we did. The, if we did this last night, my In and Out meal. I mean, we, we should just look for fun. Someone tell me in the comments. Last night I had two in and out. Uh, no, two double doubles. Uh, you had one double double and one cheeseburger. Yes, yeah, so I had one double double meat cheese spread and then one cheeseburger meat cheese spread. Two orders of fries. That's got to be a shit ton. <laughs> anyway, we'll come back with you with the final details here in uh, ten minutes. What's for What's for dinner here? All right. We got a serving of Greek yogurt, a uh, hit of maple syrup, hit of chocolate chips, a serving of granola, serving of blueberries, serving of raspberries. This has got to be a pretty big caloric uh, bowl right here. Into white rice, a cup of white rice, a cup of cooked white rice. Um, a third cup. And don't we laugh? Why are you laughing at me? What are you gonna eat uncooked? Well, well it's no, different measurements. It's different measurements. Like okay. if you look, like look right here. Okay, okay. No, if you look <laughs> in the white rice bag, it says 160 calories, one cup dry. Okay. I mean, fourth cup dry. Whatever. But there's math. There's different okay. measurements. Bud, That's are you true. kidding me? That's All right. True. That's true. Totally interrupted. Back to it. We got a cup of cooked white rice. We have uh, a third cup, is that how you say it? A third cup, uh, one third cup chicken. One third cup, what is it called? Carne asada. Carne asada, whatever the hell that is. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one packet like this of Mickey D's sweet and sour. <laughs> and then a half a, pa a, half of a packet of the Tang barbecue Mickey D's. One serving of lemon lime Gatorade in the Pillar Performance bottle. Now we feast. Okay, numbers are all tallied. Um, all right, this is right now. Like this is done. Like finished dinner, right? Everything. Yep. Okay. I uh, final guess. After some doing, after thinking on TikTok, letting my brain relax. <laughs> I'm guessing four thousand four hundred fifty-seven calories consumed. Very exact number. It's a good guess. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna guess that exact. 
but I'm gonna say around a thousand more, fifty-five hundred. Let's. See. What was your guess? Um. Well, when you said three thousand, I knew that was way too low. I had some no. I just have no idea. I've never thought about calories once in my life. I before you even started the day, I assumed you're gonna eat between five and six thousand calories. Yeah. So and we didn't even bike today either. Which like the bike, like one day we'll have to do this when we're biking a lot, a lot because you can consume the top a left crap number. ton on the bike. Okay, so it was in between what we both said. You said forty five hundred around. Uh yeah yeah yeah. I said fifty five hundred. This is five thousand and eighty one calories. Oh, fifty eighty one. Wow. Yeah. It's not bad. No. So if we were to do the Michael Phelps challenge, is the Michael Phelps challenge 10 or 12,000 calories? Okay. Wow. Two it's times that. It. Yeah. Well, if you wanted to see the Michael Phelps challenge, which is 10,000 calories in a day, I think I definitely could. Oh yeah. I, mean, I could go to In-N-Out for lunch and <clears throat> crush a few K real quick. Um, let us know. But wow, that's a, that's a pretty good amount. How many did we burn throughout the day? What'd you say? Yeah, didn't you say like, 200? Yeah, I said, okay, yeah, so we burned uh, 1,189 calories during the run session, 2,050 calories across both swims, so that's 3,239 calories burned in activity, and then according to my Garmin wearable, which is like what I wear all day, uh, like resting, I burned 2,213 calories, so... That is, uh, what is that? So that's uh, two, two, one, three plus 32, 39, 5,452 calories were burned today. So you got a deficit. So that means I'm in a deficit of, of what? What was it? Uh, 5,081. 5, yeah. <clears throat> Man, I need to find 371 more cows. Ice cream. Light work. <laughs> Now you know it deserves. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and jail real quick. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get some power bar chews or something. Chewy. Choo choos. Say hi to Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt Lionel even watches these. <laughs> well, Lionel, if you're watching, here's Chew. Aww. All right. End of the day. Ate a lot. Learned a lot. I have never thought about calories once in my 24 year old life. Have you? No. Like I have it. Like I, I, I would have no idea how many calories are in yogurt, a donut, anything. Like I just never think about it. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Honestly, I think it's probably a bad thing. I'm looking at it, like I, I definitely don't like it. It is hard to eat a lot to to fuel properly. I mean, and even a thousand of those calories. They, Cyrus said we're sports nutrition. Like that's not great nutrition for you. It's just straight sugar. So it's just really interesting. If you're training a lot, you need to eat a lot, um, or else you're going to have lulls in energy, lulls in training and motivation, and you know, unfortunately, maybe even lead to injury. So yeah, I learned a lot. We're just definitely going to have to uh, try it again. Maybe in the midst of uh, Ironman training at the end of this year or next year, if I do another full Ironman build and uh, try to hit that 10,000 calorie uh, challenge. I think that'd be pretty fun. Um, well, in like a healthy way, right? Like not go crush like a 40 piece at like Mickey D's, <laughs> which I could You may have to do it like 11.59 p.m. to squeeze it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might like, if we're, if we got a thousand cows to go, I might have to go try and get a 10 piece real quick. <laughs> but no, that was great. Good fun. So I hope everyone enjoyed. I, this is probably my, the funnest video that, uh, funnest video that we filmed yet so all right peace